Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun. I'm JT and we are here in Lightroom today and I'm really excited about this video because in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your own presets in Lightroom and it's super simple and super useful. It makes editing photos a breeze, especially as you can see here, this collection alone has almost 1300 photos and editing all of those by hand is a total pain. It also comes in handy when I wanna save and edit and use it at a later point in time. I can just go to my presets tab, select an edit that I made, who knows, a month ago, a year ago, a week ago, and I don't have to dig through a bunch of files to find that edit, copy and paste it over, I can just select the preset. So let's get right into how to make your own preset. I have this neon shoot that I did here in Denver a while back. I also use this for my neon glow tutorial and I'll link to that in the description. But I wanna make a preset of this edit because I really like it and I would love to use this on another neon shoot in the future. Now, once you are completely finished editing, you've done all your basic toning, contrast, split toning, sharpening, lens corrections, vignettes, all of that stuff, even radial filters and gradient filters, what we're gonna do is go over to our presets tab right here and hit this little plus and we have a couple options. We have the option to create a preset, import a preset, and manage presets. So what I'm gonna do is create a preset and this new develop preset box pops up and we'll bring this up to the middle. Now the first thing we see here in our new develop preset tab is the preset name. And I wanna go ahead and name this something that I'm going to remember. So I'm gonna call this one Neon Glow and I might as well call it preset while I'm at it. Now go ahead and name this anything that you're going to remember in the future when you're looking for it. Now I can also organize my presets in groups and what I can do is I've started a new group called Run and Gun Presets and I'm just going to add my Neon Glow preset to my Run and Gun Presets group. But you can have as many different groups as you want. I could have a group just for Neon Presets if I want to. That is completely up to you as to how you organize your Lightroom presets. So moving to our settings, I'm going to skip auto settings. I do not want Lightroom automatically adjusting the exposure on all of my photos. So unless that's something that you want, I'm going to leave that box unchecked. And let's talk about our main settings box right here. Now, if you want to save every single edit that you've made to this image, you can just go ahead and check all of the boxes that will save everything, your white balance, all the way to your lens corrections, your transform adjustments, and different effects like that or if you only wanna save one or two of these effects, you can go down and hit check none and just select the one or two that you like. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here and make sure everything is correct and make sure I'm not saving any local adjustments that were just for this image. Now an example of a setting that I probably wouldn't wanna save in a preset would be lens corrections or transform, especially lens corrections. So if you're shooting on more than one camera or you own more than one camera, you're going to be applying one lens correction from one camera and potentially applying it to another camera and you don't want to do that. Now for the amount of time that I'm saving just by using presets, I can go ahead and I would rather manually do my lens corrections because maybe I'm shooting on my Nikon Z6 with a 50 millimeter or maybe I'm shooting on my GH5 with a 35 millimeter. Completely different lenses and completely different lens corrections. So we'll leave that alone, but I wanna keep everything else. Treatment profile, white balance, basic toning, tone curves, everything here, sharpening, color, split toning, especially my color right here, that will be my HSL sliders, my hue, saturation, and luminance. So that all looks good. I've already created this preset, but what you're gonna do is hit create. I'm gonna hit cancel so I don't create a duplicate of the preset I already have. And now you can see my little presets tab is open. I have all of these presets, and if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see my running gun presets. Now, I don't use any of these presets. This is where if I hit the arrow and go to manage presets, I can turn off some of these presets that I don't even use and hit save. Now all I have left are my run and gun presets, super organized. I'll hit this little down arrow to open up my presets. And as you can see, my neon glow that we just saved, I have an orange and teal 
preset that I just recently made. And of course, I have a good old dark and moody preset that I love using. So if I want to go to an image and apply a preset, let's just pick a random image here that I haven't edited yet. And I can just highlight over my neon glow preset. I don't even have to click it. And you can see it applies it in the preview. And then right there, as soon as it loads, it applies it in my main window. I can also highlight over dark and moody. It's just a quick way of previewing some of your presets pretty quickly and just kind of playing around and seeing what you like or don't like. I'm not a huge fan of the dark and moody on these neons. Let's take a look and see what this orange and teal sunflowers preset looks like. And that looks okay, but that's a little too warm for my taste and I'm not a huge fan of it. So another little fun thing that you can do with presets is you can double up your presets. Maybe I want a preset to be stronger or maybe I want to overlap and mix two presets together. So I'm going to find another photo here that I've already edited. And let's grab this one right here. And as you can see, I've already applied my neon glow preset to this image and I think it looks pretty good. But let's see, what would dark and moody look like on top of my neon glow preset? Now that looks a little bit strong and a little bit funky, but it almost looks like a Brandon Wolfel style image. And I can actually double up a neon glow on top of a neon glow preset. And that is just like a nuclear explosion, completely blown out. Let's see what orange and teal looks like. Yeah, that's a little bit harsh too, but just an idea that you can play with your presets. And there's just so much you can do with Lightroom presets. I have a blast playing with them and going and finding old images and applying new presets. For example, I have some images of a castle that I wanted to make a little bit dark and moody. I can select my castle. Now I can scroll on up to presets, open up my run and gun presets. And let's see what dark and moody looks like on this castle. Now that looks awesome. It's a super dark, gloomy, moody look. Let's just for fun see what neon glows looks like. Yeah, that looks terrible. Um, orange and teal probably wouldn't look too bad. That actually looks like a kind of nice edit. But look at the power of these presets. I don't have to go scrubbing through images for hours to try and find a certain image that I edited a certain way or I think I remember that I edited it a certain way. I can just go to my presets that are super readily available and try a bunch of different looks. Based on my preview, the orange and teal looks kind of neat on this little town in England. That's pretty cool. Let's see what dark and moody looks like. That's pretty neat too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Presets are an absolute blast to play with. I use them all the time and I have folders upon folders of presets that I'm constantly making and saving edits for the future, even if they don't work for the particular shoot that I'm working on at the moment. So I hope you guys can use presets for your projects in the future. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all of my tips and tricks videos. And until next weekend, Get out and go shoot.